one or two storms. All right, out in the tropics, still very, very active. We are still got quite a bit of hurricane season ahead of us, and really we have big chunk of hurricane season ahead of us. And there's a couple areas out here. We've got Larry, which is a hurricane. We've got a new area that looks like it could start to develop off the continent of Africa. That's the remnants of Ida and then Invest 91. So Invest 91 is the one we're going to be keeping an eye on. Larry's way out here. There's the Cabo Verde Islands. It's heading west. It's expected to become a major hurricane category four. This is going to be one of our strongest hurricanes of the season, including Ida, and it'll be moving up towards Bermuda. The big question is how close does it get to Bermuda, which is right there. So it'll be getting close to it and then most models curve this out to see here. So the East Coast definitely needs to watch this, but there's no guarantee it actually gets to the US. It's a long ways out though, so you can't write it off just yet. We don't have to worry about it, though. It doesn't look like Invest 91 is out in the Caribbean. It's just an area of showers and storms around a low pressure right there on the coast, uh, moving into Central America and up towards Honduras and then crossing the Yucatan. By the time it gets into the southern Gulf by this weekend and early next week, the Hurricane Center gives it a very low chance that it tries to develop. Reason the chances of it developing are so low right now is because there's a lot of wind shear in the Gulf of Mexico and there will likely be a lot of wind shear into next week. We will have to watch for some of this moisture and let me show you this moisture. That's the tropical wave heading up through the Yucatan by Monday and Tuesday in the southern Gulf and it will have showers and storms with it. It'll have the moisture. So if it can, if it didn't have the wind shear and all those things, it would probably try to organize into something. But with the wind shear and dry air, probably not going to look like much. Then it does start to lift to the north, but watch this. We got a cold front headed our way towards the end of next week, so there's no guarantee it gets here and I don't want you to get excited that we're going to get cold air, but maybe some drier air and maybe this thing will come on down and throw that thing another direction and we don't have to worry about it. Typically when a cold front comes down like this and if it's weak and unorganized, it'll try to either throw it to the west or the east. Typically if it's weak, it'll go to the west. If it's a bit stronger of a system, it might try to curve out to the north and east. Long wait, long time out. This is five to seven days out. Models are not overly aggressive with really organizing into anything, but we got to watch it. Things could change between now and then. It's hurricane season. It's September, so we'll keep it an eye on it for you. Worrying about it right now? No, we're not. We're just watching it. I don't want you to worry about it either. We just got a lot on our plate right now, but we'll be watching it. And I